Hickok 45 here. I'm going to do a little single shooting today since I have a Henry Repeating Arms single shot. Guess what it's chambered in? I don't know if you can read that, but it's 450 Bushmaster. So let's master a bush or two over there. But first, let's master some steel, like a red plate. Yeah. <laughs> Shoots a big old cartridge, comparable ballistically to a 4570. You've seen enough information probably on the 450 Bushmaster to know it's not a 22 long rifle, right? Yeah. Got that ammo from. Man, put that hole right through it, didn't it? Yeah, come over and look at this thing. I'll do some double tapping a little bit later on. But, uh, and uh, we're glad to be here. This is uh, an interesting firearm. It's not too complicated, right? It's a single shot. It looks like uh, if I just held it up, you might have just thought from the uh, thumbnail, it looked like a, a shotgun. We're doing a shotgun video. Unless you can read. You might have seen 450 Bushmaster, and you might have known that's not a shotgun gauge, is it? I don't think. Uh, yeah, single shots are kind of special. Uh, whoever makes them and whatever brand they are, they're just something, uh, I don't know, the, the beauty is in the simplicity, right? Just like a single barrel shotgun. Uh, and of course, you know, I have several single barreled, uh, some antique type firearms, sharps, uh, rolling blocks, and those sorts of firearms that are single shot. And uh, this is a modern one, of course, from uh, Henry Repeating. Henry Repeating Arms, yeah. Always, I have trouble getting their name right. Uh, and, uh, I mean, I know it's Henry, but as far as Henry Rifle Company, Henry Repeating Arms, Henry Rifle Arms, you know, a little complex there to keep straight. Uh, anyway, this is 450 Bushmaster. It's made in a lot of different chamberings. Uh, probably several I wouldn't even be able to mention. I think 44 Mag, uh, 350 Legend, 450 Bushmaster, some of the more powerful ones in a lot of a lot of different chamberings. As uh, as you know, many of you, that in some states in the Midwest, especially like Ohio, Michigan, Iowa, Indiana, maybe different states, uh, for a while it was only legal to hunt deer with a shotgun. And then they changed that law to where you could hunt with a straight wall cartridge, you know, like this. In other words, not a necked cartridge like 30 out six or something. And so uh, rounds like this Bushmaster, the 350 Legend, you know, 44 Magnum, 4570 is legal in some. Some have a restriction. I learned this from comments. You all are really informative. Uh, Help me out. That because uh, I was asking, I think a Sunday video why 4570 might not be more popular in those states it's straight wall isn't it yeah and uh, uh but there's a length restriction on, on them in some states too so you know your state you know if you're a hunter you know what the laws are probably and those those limitations might be but that has has uh created a market for firearms like this uh in these kinds of chambering so uh they're they're very popular the bushmaster i'm glad to see it flourishing seems to be doing pretty well i don't know 350 legend uh, and a single shot rifle lest you mall ninjas out there we don't have many mall ninjas that watch i don't think <laughs> but but if we have a mall ninja troll just dying to start hammering uh about how horrible and useless a single shot rifle is you know for deer hunting or something it's just not that big a deal is it mm because you're going to hit what you aim at right the first shot and it's a powerful shot uh it just is a little bit different proposition it's not like going to the range and and double tapping like this i'll put two on the pumpkin as quickly as i can oh okay it only fires once oh by the way that was so hilarious by the way i, I noticed i didn't even realize this till i started reading some information on it that it's ambi you know, yeah, the brake uh, action on that, I've never done one like that. There might have been some made hundreds of years ago, I don't know. But you can go either way, so if you're a lefty, you know, same. Even the hammer's ambi, you know why? Because it's right in the middle. So it's a very ambidextrous uh, rifle. Yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. It goes both ways. And also, it has all these safeties built in. Uh, the firing the hammer cannot hit the firing pin unless the trigger is pulled okay i know it sounds 
like a joke or I'm being silly. No, really, there's a firing pin block of some sort, okay? Uh, that's not always been the case with firearms. You know, you hit the hammer, you know, and cause it to go off or whatever. But the trigger has to be pulled for the hammer to get to the firing pin or to hit it, okay? It's always good enough. And if the hammer is cocked, you can't, it won't close. That's kind of a safety issue too, all right? And then also, if you have it cocked, it won't open. You can't work that and mess with it. So, you know, just some, I think some sensible, you know, safety precautions there, messing around with that. Okay, it's pretty cool. The, the rear sight flips down like that, and uh, it, it's adjustable for windage. And I think, yeah, elevation, because you can move, you slide that little, like a marlin, you can slide that little sleeve up in there. So you, you can change it windage and elevation. Then you can tap the front side over if you need to. Get you a big sledgehammer, like I always do, and pound on that thing. And you see it's drilled and tapped, as I understand, for a Weaver 82 mount. Those of you who are into scopes would know what that is. I mean, I'm familiar with Weaver, but 82. Uh, so Weaver 82 mounts, what I said in the literature. So pretty nifty little gun. It feels really solid. It's not a... It's not a, uh, like, it doesn't feel like a budget item necessarily. It feels like just a, a really solid a firearm. It sells for around $500. So it's not a, like a $200 firearm just because it's single shot. You know, it's, uh, it feels like quality. And I, and I guess uh, Henry feels the same way because it's 500 bucks. It's not something you can pick up for pocket change just because it's a single shot and has few moving parts. But it does, does feel good. Now I've got this on it. It, it uh, has nice wood. You know, it's got a nice pad there. Of course, I always like an extender uh, on things. If, I can, if it'll fit. If I've got a limb saver that'll fit it. Or anything that will fit it. And uh, you're ready for your sling. And yeah, pretty cool fire. It's a 22 inch barrel. And yeah, you can see what you got there. And uh, it's not threaded. So that said, can I shoot a couple more times? I won't keep you long on this because uh, it's a single shot, right? It takes a lot of load. <laughs> yeah. No, I just I thought maybe some of you are not even aware that Henry makes these because I mean they do a lot of advertising. Most of you are, but uh, we think of uh, lever guns because that's uh, when they started making lever when they started making firearms. I guess and when was that? The 70s or 80s? Uh, Again, they're not the company from back in the 1800s. You all know that by now. But uh, whenever they started making firearms, 1980 or something like that, uh, it was lever guns. And for a long time, I, that's all they made, which is fine. We like lever guns, don't we? Oh, there's a water jug uh, dying to be met with a 450 Bushmaster. What did I tell you? And here's a target over here dying to be hit <laughs> in a pot. I got my own ammo pouch here in my pocket. Let's smoke that pot before we do anything else. So. <laughs> wow, knocked it all off. 450s, got some punch. Uh, oh yeah, that reminds you, there's a negative here. This, uh, this sling swivel here, kind of, you got to watch that. If you're shooting something with a little bit of a kick to it, like this round, yeah, that, I guess that unscrews. You could take it out, I guess, if you're not going to put a sling on it. Uh, but you got to get your hand against out of your finger. Could hurt you, make you cry a little bit. Wouldn't want to do that, right? Not around all your hunting buddies. All right, let's put one on that target near the metal. Boom. Yeah, it's a little like uh, the, uh, well, the Henry, uh, the old Henry, the real Henry from Benjamin Tyler Henry. In the 1860 Henry lever gun, where you got something out here, like you're tempted to put your hand either in front of it or behind it, or get 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 the tab out of the way of your fingers there, because uh, you don't want to get hurt. I wouldn't hurt you, but you know, it's a little annoying to me. Yeah. So what else about it? Uh, you know, good old single. I didn't take this off. I, I you know, there's a uh, Phillips head screw there. You could take that off, and I don't know if you take that out or not, and you know. I don't take the barrel off, I guess, without too much trouble. They're usually pretty simple in design, but I saw no need to do that, uh, take it apart. One of you all will own this eventually. I didn't want to tear it up. You know, I was trying not to mark up the wood, bang it around too much. So, you know what we've not done? It's 
speaking of banging, we're not banged the gong yet, anyway. Let's do that. Remedy that. Whoops. What am I doing? Sh shooting with the that's why that shot low. <laughs> I had the sight down where I was showing you all. <laughs> yeah, when I was shooting that pot, I, uh, I I hit low, I guess, knocked everything off because I had the sight way lower than it needed to be, right? Not a good move. Not a good move. Why don't we uh, pop that red square again? Ooh, boy, and that's a heavy target. It really rocked it, 450. Yeah, we may not shoot everything. Let me take out another two liter at least. Uh, I mean, you got 450. That's a wicked, wicked round. You know, that's just designed for two liters, my guess. Yeah, I think that's what it is. A two liter round. <laughs> Doesn't say that on the box, but I just have a feeling it is. You know that one sitting on the uh, tree there bothers me. <laughs> he doesn't bother me now. Let me shoot one more at least though on that plate over there. Yeah, I've got one in my pocket. My ammo pouch here. Another tip: if you're a if you're a famous hunter, you know, really well known, and you're a, you teach hunting. You want to wear shirts with two pockets and decide how you're going to reload it so you can grab your ammo out of your pocket with the correct hand and load it, right? That makes sense. <laughs> no, that's only if you're a goofball like me. Oh, yeah, it's hard. Man, nice. So anyway, uh, you know, this thing's available in probably about any uh, chambering you would be interested in. Uh, you know, I've been reading about the 350 becoming uh, extremely popular. I, I guess the 450 is too, pretty popular. Uh, so, you know, it'd be, uh, be a nice little firearm, uh, simple, um, and would probably last several generations, wouldn't it? So the Henry, like I said, runs around 500 in that ballpark. And uh, the Henry single shot, they make a lot of these in different chamberings. Might be something you'd have interest in. Even if you're not a hunter, maybe. You know, I don't hunt. And, you know, I have to confess, I have several single shot rifles. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we think of hunter, hunting uh, with these, but uh, we all know that's not the only purpose for a rifle, is it? Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms, you can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also, Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.